What's up guys, welcome to Nesnia and today I'm going to show you a Protoss vs Terran. Now I've covered a Terran vs Terran, Terran vs Protoss and Terran vs Zerg. Now I do know I've also covered Protoss vs Zerg but not Protoss vs Terran yet. And I believe that this is also a strategy that at least is going to get you into the Platinum range. And if you execute it a couple of times, maybe if you get really familiar with the build, you might even be able to push it to diamond so let's get going so as you can see i did a game with rooney which is my brother-in-law he's in the bottom right and i'm in the upper left he's going to execute his terran strategy as most terran do they start up with a wall off here i'm going to show you i'm going to speed it up a bit see they first go for that heavy minerals start up with the wall now what am i doing at the same time on the other side I also build up my probes first and then I build a pylon at I believe 15 yeah when it's just about to hit 15 out of 16 probes that are mining minerals I build a pylon then I get back to building and when the pylon finishes finishes you're going to get one of these probes to build a gateway instantly let's continue see the refinery is going down which is also a strategy I like to execute on my own Terran when I play Terran now when the gateway is down and you got 75 minerals you're gonna put a few probes onto the assimilator don't forget to build it of course build a second assimilator I'm going to speed it up a pylon would be nice too this pylon is a little early you could have built this one first the second gateway and I'm a bit sloppy on the cybernetics course you can see but it's going down now Speed it down again. As you can see on the other side, Rooney is building a barracks now. He's going to complete that wall off here. He's getting the required gas. I think he's going for a factory after it and maybe even a starport. Now I'm going to wait for my second gateway to finish up as well as the cybernetic score. At the same time, I have made sure that my mineral fields and both assimilators are fully saturated. As you can see I place an additional pylon here just in case uh, he might try something and I need a photon overcharge. Once this one is done, the cybernetic score, you instantly go for the warp gate research and you speed it with the chrono boost. As you can see the mothership core is also done and I'm also building these adapts as soon as the cybernetic score is up. His wall off is complete, there's the factory, he's probably going to, sh going to start pushing some marines now, there he goes. There's a, s a second barracks going down, so he's going to push for some biological I guess, with a couple of tanks maybe. You put these pylons down here, um, and if he already has some marines standing here at the ready, then you wait with putting the pylons down. You wait till your adapts are at the other side of the map. Of course, the mothership is coming along. And then you have these two up on the ramp. In this case, he has his wall down, but normally the wall's up. You start nuking the supply depot as soon as possible. If he did have a couple of marines, you just have to wait till your mothership core arrives so you get the high ground vis visual. And of course, then you put down those pylons, one on each side. Because then he will have to choose which one to nuke down with all of his units, if he has more that is. And uh, you will have some time to have additional army pouring in from the other side. As you can see, once the pylons are down, the mothership core, when it reaches the other side of the map, it will pretty much have around 90 energy, which means an instant photo charge uh, at the second he comes in. And a second one a couple of seconds later. Just look at this. See? 50 energy. So I could potentially put another photon overcharge. The first thing you do though is nuke those supply depots. He will be supply cap as you can see. The supply cap now. We cannot build any more units after this. He calls in all the troops to try to maintain the threat. I put another photon overcharge. And uh, simply put, he's being nuked to shreds. Now I need to spend my excess minerals, so I put down an excess in his base to pee on his territory. And that's pretty much it. 
if you execute this if you practice this a couple this a couple of times against friends or on the ladder i don't care what you wish to do if you want to practice this a couple of times i'm sure you can get up to platinum at least if not diamond it helped me so far remember that this is a strategy that only works against terran because protoss will most likely not be that stupid and as a matter of fact if you go into a protoss base look at my base the first thing that's up here is a pylon if you move a little bit further down into the base there's a pylon and there's a pylon here if i try to execute this against the protoss i've done it a couple of times though i mean it is possible but all things considered he will most probably also have a cybernetic score up if you execute this wrong then there's a big chance he will overcharge his own pylons and nuke you to stretch so just keep that in mind if you do this then probe his his base for weaknesses for example you could put a pylon down here and uh, provided he doesn't have a bigger army count on the other side of the map you could hang out here like go to the other side here and nuke down some of his probes put the pylon here then or here at least have it out of reach of his pylons because when he photon overcharges uh, you're gonna be sure to be uh, nuked away so if you do this against the protos then keep in mind to stay away from pylons because once once he overcharges them uh, you will never have a big enough army to nuke down the pylon in time and it does a tremendous amount of damage thank you for watching guys as always don't forget to subscribe and uh, i hope to see you guys in the next vid